What's up, guys and gals? It's Eclectics. We're on draft number 18. Hot off a six win Azorius Awesomeness. If we have a perfect 7 0, we get to Mythic. And I want to be optimistic because it is possible. Just extremely challenging, to say the least. Oh, uh, well, let's find out what'll it be tonight. Mythic or bus? Let's go. It's drafting time. Tractosaur. So we open with a cutzel flanker. We got a lot of those. Uh, it is a flash 3 1 cat warrior. Um, all it, it really does is it, it's a 3 1. I am not taking it. The other uh, cards in this draft we have the inverted iceberg, we have the dinotomaton, which I love. Um, uh, Playable River Herald Guide, but I think it's the back here. It can wheel. Someone is going to pick it up for the 20 gems. But I don't think that's... Uh, that's comparable to the bat. The bat's lifelink flying and the scry is just ridiculous. It is a very good card. We follow it up with a an old tech cloud guard yeah we can do without one petrify we can just keep uh, the aerial assault we're looking to be white we're looking to be white there are a couple of removal cards over here uh, in petrify and the rumbling rock slide rumbling rock slide I've fallen off a bit it's a hefty card, plus it doesn't kill a lot of stuff. This kills quite a bit. Not really kill, but it removes them from the board, so. The Ultra Cloud Guard is just great, though, as a flyer. If we can get... So, on the wheel, Cosmium Blast, Iron Paw Aspirant, maybe white. We're not going to get white cards from the left side in uh, pack 2, but... Yeah, still great with an Ultra Cloud Guard follow up here. So, White Black join the dead. Join the dead's hefty. Black. Black to pass. I think Red Maw's Ire here. So join the dead with uh, Bitter Triumph. Not great on pick three. Our guys here are passing black, but there are three awesome black cards over here, right? What we want is we want to hedge on our go to uh, color where we'll be able to. Uh, basically get a, a really good one um red more than white this is passable attentive sunscribe but this one's really good Ooh, wish we had taken uh wish we had taken black we're gonna take the rumbling rock slide here white green more than white red maybe this is pick number four i think it'll because if our neighbors here are passing red which they are and they're passing black maybe we're not gonna get white cards maybe red cards we might get past white and black so I'm not high on getting him red we might tendrils is here but I think this is fine so green is actually being passed 
I think I'm gonna stick with the white train. Here's an a uh, perfectly good iron claw aspirin. Mm, yeah, iron paw, ruin lurker bat, iron paw, and then totes would be great. This is green pass. Yeah, I'm taking the white card here. Pick five. We're seeing more green now. I'm gonna take the uh, red card here. White with Might of the Ancestors, maybe. It's okay. Um, actually, that might be good on three. Alright. I'm in. Versus a Seismic Monster Sword, which is actually passable. Yeah, look at this. So, it's either the Adaptive Guard or the Iron Paw Aspirant. The Adaptive Guard, our first one. The Pick 7. We're not going to get this back. Iron Paw Aspirant, second. Versus a 4 Adaptive Gem Guard. I think we want to go really fast. Right? Yeah, we want to go really fast. Let's see if we can get to that. Um, Envoy is not a pick. I'll take the Hidden Courtyard here. It's very, very uh, usable. Green is up. More than a Didact Echo, I think maybe a Didact Echo would be fine. So red is not appearing. Green. Hmm. Okay. I don't know the deep thing is fine. No. Green again. Mm. Might shift the green. Let's see what back two brings us. Daring discovery. We'll stick with white. There's red here with a braid, but the flyers are just great. Another chance for a guardian with a great door. We're passing a braid though. But that's a pretty good card. Mm, we're hoping to wheel a braid, but that's never going to wheel. So if this wheels, it's fine. Um, it's really Cogwork Wrestler that we want to wheel. Like I said, braid if it wheels, but I don't think so. Green is fine as well. Maybe we can get Kudzil. Then we can shift to green. Nope, we're going green. Oh no, there's a lot of great cards here. So here's a green card. Perfectly great green card here. Because if green's passed, we can go tendrils. For what? There's a great red card. There's a great blue card. Could go flyers. Uh, Miner's guide wing. Oaken siren. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and see if we can go blue. Alright. White with this or Triumphant Chomp. I'll take Triumphant Chomp. 
we didn't take Grinder's Watley's final strike. Ah, uh, that might have been a bad choice. Here's red. No, it's fine. All right. We have top end. We're not getting white cards, unfortunately. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. Tiny automaton on the four versus idol versus plundering pirate. Yeah, all right, cool. At least we got some action. We're getting red cards now. We had stuck with green. Draw. I think our first sunshot militia. How many artifacts do we have? Two of them, that's a no. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Nothing. Yes. This is disturbing. Goblin Tomb Raider isn't even great here. So one is the Panicked Altasaur. Not great. Which one's better? Two or... I think it's the Panicked Altasaur here. Belligerent Earling is really good. We have uh, Belligerent Earling more than the 5 drop because we have another uh, chance for the 5 drop. We have a hidden courtyard already. Maybe we'll use Ancestor's Aid more than the Ultic Cloud Guard. Sure. Okay. Lattice more than the Goblin Tomb Raider. Yeah. That's a fine one as well. Another Guardian. Sure. Second Guardian. We want like the clay fired bricks. Um, something because the double guardian is great. Then we gum up the board. Prioritize removal and the tinker stoat now since we're picking this. Form of removal is just two, three. <laughs> what the heck? This was fast. All right. We got the Carnosaur. Wow. That is a wow. We got the Carnosaur. Definitely taking that. Okay, we're set. Whew. There's nothing for us over here, yikes. Three or less. Three 
three or less. I mean, that's a dowsing device, but. All right, we'll put in the sideboard for now. Tali's favor. Wow, green is also on, but the Tali's favor is great. We could have gone green as well, but the double white here is awesome. Yeah. Dino count five. So take this back. Idol of the Deep King. It's three. Twos are filled, I guess. I think it's the pop. Or is it the removal? Do lack removal. I think we can pick up removal. Better removal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take a rock slide. Um, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not getting the uh, Goblin Tomb Raider 3. Maybe. Point eight. I think we're okay. We didn't get um, any of the guys that actually uh, ensures that we have uh, maybe dowsing device comes in. Four or more artifacts. Yeah, it doesn't really work. All right, we need to check. Yeah. So probably Sunshot Militia is out. We prioritize the dinos. Because we don't have ways to cast the Guardian of the Great Door. We kind of need permanent. So we need permanent, um, our spells are these, target permanent, like what? The lattice is not great. I guess dowsing device is not great. Or is it? I think it's the lattice. 
So we have four artifacts, but we have one. Oh, I have the landmark. What? No, landmark is no good. Is it? Craft with artifact, no. This doesn't really work as well. Um, yeah, the Sunshot Militia doesn't really uh, do a lot of stuff. Do we have anything that carries uh, with it something? A thousand device more than Sahili's Lattice. No, I think Sahili's Lattice more than Dowsing Device because Dowsing Device will just stay there or Sahili's Lattice will get us two cards. Right? Yeah. And then we're quite low, so we do. Uh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Then we don't trade off the Goblin Tomb Raider. Dinos? Not really. I think we can get away with a Goblin Tomb Raider and just have it like this. Blood protection is Sahili's Lattice. What are we using our mana for? We have Might of the Ancestors. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I don't think we use you. I think we use you and you like this. Yeah, I think so. That's what we need to do. So we increased our artifact count to five, but um not great actually five six so maybe the other clan landmark no 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 we're fine we're okay because the iron for aspirants actually uh stand like either the one for putting up guardian of the great door or goblin tomb raider yep yep We're more red than white, yep. We don't have double red, we have white, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because of the double white requirement. Okay. Right, hopefully you like this. Um, it's Boros. Do we have a specific Boros one? No. We have the Boros. Uh, yep. Knight to the Boros.
Can you get into us, Carnosaur? Five dinos. Flyers. Let's go. Last look. All right, hopefully this takes us to Mystic. Let's go. It's a pretty good deck. I like it. Uh, lots of things to be said about it, though. <laughs> uh, maybe we lack tricks. Uh, one, two, three, four. Technically, we have uh, five or six removals, and they're not the best, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Let's see. Or in our opening hand. All right. We're going to open the burning sun scabbard. Not a chance at. Well, you can't abrade it, but. This is red, black, he can take it back. What can he do with this pump? If we decline, what can he do with it? Red, black, we decline it first, we decline. Yeah, I think that's 
the uh, grasp and shadow. Okay. We block this four, three. He doesn't have anything, right? attack Okay, that's our best. Um, if he has some form of removal or, or something, he gets screwed, but yeah, he's dead. That was a pretty convincing game one. Let's keep doing that. Two. So what can he do? He can trade with this, trade both. If we do a 4-3 here,
since the block went to three, four, we'll have four. This is also, yeah. So he needs to block with all three. I don't think he'll do it, right? If he does, then he will do Three, four. He lose. He lose two, three, four. We'll still have that. Oh, okay. Three. He lose all, and then he'll tap this. We'll lose three, two, we'll have to tap one, four, yep. Eight, eight, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. 
<laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah. Okay, we got to tier one. Very strong showing for the deck. Thank you very much, deck. Let's keep doing this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that with the Sackbar Raptor. There, are, there are. There are a couple of uh, turns there where it was kind of iffy, especially with the Scythe Claw Raptor attack. But yeah, keep uh, making him go on the back foot. And luckily we had uh, the Iron. to a land because a land would be so good oh yes We can do Sunfire Torch, Burning Sun Cavalry. Oh, he's got it. He's got the uh, the eye, right? But if he does, oh, this is a bad play. Because he has the uh, Ancestor's Aid. Because of the Ancestor's Aid, he's still going to uh, kill this dude, right? But it should be okay. At least one, we'll, we'll be able to get through two. <laughs> okay. Nine. That's okay. Totally okay. Okay, I accept. What was it then? So we can't cast this. We'll do a Dali's favor here. Wow, okay. He did 
did have it. He did have ancestors aid. Okay. No. We're stuck on three lands. This is how we uh we lose. And the ancestors aid read was actually okay, but uh yeah. We have to now okay. So he did have ancestors aid plus he had the uh the quicksand whirlpool. He took four, but this is really bad. We're down six. Yeah, we're dead. Mm, okay. We got stuck on three lands. Dak, what up? Why do you not give us any lands? Lands, lands, lands. So, our first loss is not because of strategy or, or anything, but because of lands. But yeah. Uh, something to take note was we read him having our opponent having ancestors aid. We still went through with Burning Sun's cavalry, which was really bad. Anyway, on the attack though, it would have still been bad, right? Oh, but we didn't draw because of Itali's favor, right? Yeah. Weren't able to draw because of Itali's favor, which was really, really bad. He would attack, yeah, I mean. Four wouldn't go through. Three, one, bounce off, kill, yeah. If he had drawn just one white, right? We could use it to actually get the uh, the angel out. If we had drawn just one planes, angel out would be so good. But yeah, we got stuck with a couple of angels. No way to cast it. Sad. Welcome, sir. Two and no... This is a mulligan, so on two, we don't draw any land. If we draw one land, it'd still be bad because Sahili's lattice is there. Yeah, this is totally much, much better. So three, um, I think it's the pup. It's the pup. No. Land, please. Land, please, Dak. It's about time you draw into a land, please. Land, please. Cornosaur. Well, well. Since we're not going to be drawing anything soon, let's just attack and see what he does.
He might kill this, right? He'll kill this more than this. And we'll have more, a better result later, right? We'll have more things to tap. Need a rumbling rock slide or something. get rid of this rumbling rock slide we got a couple of rumbling rock slides this is seven in the air not great Dolly's mm, favor exactly So, if we crash this, we can actually get rid of that, right? Or he'll cast that. Dino, sure. board maybe you should have attacked with both still a five This is five, six, eight. Yeah. So far we're getting really really good draws. Let's continue with the, uh, the trend. Even Triumphant Chomp is actually shaping up to be awesome.
four three belligerent five four belligerent yearling with the uh, two counters from the iron paw aspirin very cool very cool and that was off of a mole awesome Uh-oh, we are waiting for a long time, which means it's either a mythic player or a lower rank player. Hope you can't remove this. Looks like can't remove it yet. Should have put the red land instead of white, but here we are. Maybe this is wrong. No. Still also not right. I think I'll take action here. Keep him off of, uh, yeah, keep him off of stuff. If he rocks like this, because he's going to, uh, yeah, let's just attack. with an awesome borrow stack
here we go again. We're currently waiting, and it's either a pair up or a pair down. It's okay. Another diamond player. We have no plays. Let's hope we can draw plays. This ship will just pop first. Should draw plays. Anything you can put out for rumbling rock slide. It's not great news. Trumpeting Carnage for the end. He's gonna do it again. He has so much stuff. If he makes us discard, we can still okay. choice we're gonna discover five
we have an artifact? We do. Okay. We're gonna craft it. He's also gonna craft it with what? We don't have any artifacts. <laughs> Holy moly, our opponent just having everything. Dead weight, dead weight. Bitter triumph, a braid, rumbling rock slide. Wow, just amazing. Yes, I know, I can craft it. Holy moly! Seriously, wow! you don't have another removal should be fine that's fine you're dead all right huh to go through so much just for that win but yeah our deck still got it yeah 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 all right couple more please so we can get to uh to mythic but i think this is six right it's five Ooh, can still do it. Couple more. Let's do. Let's go. Come on. We knew he had bitter triumph. <laughs> he had everything. Uh, dead weight, dead weight, a braid, rumbling rock slide, bitter triumph. Uh, wow. It was crazy. Oh wow, you're gonna have to remove Triumphant Chomp. <laughs> All right. This is three. If I do that. 
Uh, we can keep hitting two. This is still three. Oh, yeah. You can hit me with the... Uh, So it'll be if uh, I I'll also tap this. This is three. Doesn't matter. Come on, red. Come on. Come on, land. I need a land. Come on, land. I need a land. I really need a land. Ah. Uh oh. We're having a hard time because of this with triumphant charm. helping at all where are our lands This is where the deck failed us. So our first loss was some form of land stuff. And our second loss again. <laughs> We're on two. Our opponent's on seven. And there's nothing really we can do about this thing. Look at this. Five. We're dead, basically. This is attacking. Just to prevent us from dying, we did that. Up until the end. Dude, we have 16 lands. Highest draw rate for our land is 27%. 27% not enough for an actual land draw.
That wasn't a game. That wasn't a game. That was not a game. That was not a normal magic game, man. That was just disgusting. Disgusting on us because we can't draw the... Come on, dude. We got 16 lands, man. We got 16 lands. Don't do that dirty. We did have... We had our highest casting cost creature. Maybe that was a mistake. But we had two... Two lands. And we had one... We only had one uncastable card from our hand. Which is why we kept going, but not drawing any lands, man. Here we go again. We have a great hand if we can draw lands. Come on, dude. Don't do this dirty. Don't do us dirty like this. Don't do us dirty like this. Come on, deck. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. That doesn't do anything. That really doesn't do anything. And we can only go with attacking. And this doesn't even go through that. <sighs> Alright. Well, two losses because of... Land... Not great. Thank you. At least something. If he has removal, he has removal. We can't really do anything, but yeah, that's the best thing we can do. Please draw land. Please draw land. Rumbling rock slide? Great, petrify. And now we're gonna have to do this. And if he has something, he doesn't have anything. All right, cool. Nine. Oh, my goodness. So four. Rumbling rock slide. Four. Three. Um, he can't attack with two, so it's okay. Wow, we can. Mm. Maybe we can survive this. Five eighteen. No, we are hanging tight. We'll attack with three, the three five. Oh no, what is this? Flying. This five and the flyer. Blocker. So he's gonna get rid of one. Nope. This is five. Would be four, sure. Sure. Seriously? Okay. Four. If he attacks with all. Yeah, I'll be able to do something, right? Yeah, I'll be able to do something. Okay.
So now, no, I'm not attacking. Cause we're down to four. So if he attacks, create a map, but we are going to get rid of one at least. And then three rumbling rock slide. I don't know. Uh-huh. What's the hmm. Yeah, we really need to get rid of this now disgusting three. We'll be down one, which is really, really bad. Um, we can do a Dolly's favor. What exactly can we, what, what exactly can we do with these three fives? What can we do with these three fives? Because we certainly can't attack now. Our hand's really bad. 17 No, we'll lose both All right, so we have Three, three, no. We can only do rumbling rocks like this and then s hold them off. Yep. The, do you have an Oh, he, he does. Well, that's the end of us. Yeah, because he had that. Hey, he had artifacts. Hmm. Not awesome. Not awesome. Not awesome because we got, so we were against an aggressive deck. Uh, basically white, red. <laughs> he splashed blue for the anchorage. Which is fine, I guess. Yeah, so we were against an aggressive deck and we got delayed on lands like disgusting. If we uh, if we had curved out, we would have been fine. We would have had something to race, but it wasn't a game, unfortunately. It was not a game. Sad. All right, well, we tried. We did get to uh, five wins with the duck. Unfortunately, the last two games were pretty bad because of the uh, land drops. So our two losses were of land drops. I think the first loss as well was due to uh, land drop issues. We are playing with only 16 lands, but this deck does not require more than 16. Because we are at an average of 2.6. I mean, maybe it does, but we did not get any of our uh, uh, great hitters uh, during, uh, especially during the last two matches. Guardian of the Great Door was nowhere to be found. Uh, we had Italis. 
The Thalys can bring out Guardian of the Great Door, by the way. So, yeah, Discover is three. That's a two to cast creature. So, the Thalys, which never happened. Uh, we use the Trumpeting Carnosaur for a discard instead of uh the cast in one game and i think it was a game that we lost the first I don't, I don't remember anymore or did we win that game in any case it did not work out for us uh i still love the deck the deck is extremely good just if if we can get consistent land drops that that's the only thing because again the the last two losses were because of land drops But yeah, this deck has everything. Ulta Cloud Guard, Dinatomaton, uh, the Trumpeting Carnosaur. Uh, Dowsing Device isn't really for this deck. Maybe take it out for a Goblin Tomb Raider or maybe uh, an Ancestor's Aid, something like that. Because maybe if we had Ancestor's Aid, we'd be able to block and uh, get rid of his board somehow. Instead of the dowsing device, maybe, right? Uh, especially applicable to the last game, where he kept just pummeling us with the uh, with the two four. Like those are not great cards, but in an aggro shell, I guess so. Like uh, it's a pseudo vigilant sort of thing where. Uh, it untaps on the end step, but the yeah, the big uh, the big butt on those creatures because it's a two four, four three. That's what made it uh pretty much unreachable. And the petrify on the four three was devastating. It was really really devastating. Petrifying the the four three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what made it uh, still. And this has an awesome curve as well. 5944, four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it worked, it worked great. But yeah, when you do not have land drops. Nah. Anyway, alright. Let's go ahead and finish twice. We did get to uh, to Diamond 1 with, uh, with this draft. So here's hoping the next draft will take us to Mythic. We're claiming. So you got better plays? Comment below and let me know. Like and subscribe for more Magic the Gathering content. This is Eclectics. I'll see you on the next one.